Okay, I've given you a demonstration of journalizing transactions A and B and posting them to their respective general ledger accounts. Now I'm going to take these two transactions and the general ledger that resulted from that and create the trial balance. Now a trial balance I have down here, we've got, our, here's our general ledger. Okay, and you see we've got our transactions A and B posted here and we have our ending balances in each account. Okay, well, what we have is the trial balance here in a double entry accounting system. Debits always have to equals credits and the trial balance is a tool for verifying that debits do equal credits. So we have here, this is a worksheet which includes several different trial balances. And what we're starting with here in Evans 1 is the unadjusted trial balance. And so this will reflect all of the external transactions that are done in transactions A through G. So we come back here to the general ledger and there's the cash account and it's got a $19,000 balance. So we come over here to the trial balance here and that's 19,000. Okay, oops. 19, there we go, and we come back, and we come down to the next account that has a balance, which is supplies, has a $7,000 debit balance. You notice here that if it's a debit balance in the general ledger account, it's a debit balance in the trial balance, okay? This is called unadjusted because we're in a worksheet, but it is a trial balance. Okay, so we next look for our next account. Prepaid rent is a debit balance at 10,000. So we're taking this from the balance section here, 10,000, trial balance, and we're in prepaid rent. Okay, come back to that general ledger, go down to the next account with a balance. There's Evans Capital with a $36,000 credit balance, okay? So I'm over here and Evans Capital, 36, 36,000. And look at that, we are in balance, okay? Let's go back here and see if we got some other transactions. That's it. So we are in balance at that point. There we go. So that is how you populate a trial balance from the general ledger. You come directly from the balance section for the last balance, the ending balance here, because these are all in chronological order, and take that debit or credit and, and take it over to the trial balance. So there you go. So you need to go back to your version of Evans 1 and enter all transactions A through G, okay? You journalize those, post those to the general ledger, you prepare the unadjusted trial balance, and that's what I'll be scoring you on, on Evans 1. Oh, also, format for printing uh, as demonstrated in the Excel practice. So every one of these reports, here's the instructions for printing, print formatting for each particular page. And I'll be scoring those also. After I've scored that and send it back to you, then you can correct your Evans project and move on to Evans 2. Thank you very much.